Can you get pregnant with one fallopian tube? Are you able to get pregnant even if you have one fallopian tube? Funa olubuto wadenga obadde olina oluseke olumu chandivanga osobolo kufuna olubuto wadde ni wakubadde obadde olina oluseke olumu in this video today we are going to answer a question asked by one of our viewers who said can a woman get pregnant even if this woman has one fallopian tube Jared Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel and on this channel we do create awareness about fertility, reproductive health and ultrasound scan. So if you have any questions in regards to fertility, reproductive health and ultrasound scan, then this channel is for you. If you are a couple and you are looking at getting pregnant, you have tried several... You have taken all the drugs and you are still not getting pregnant. Your doctors are telling you you have an issue with unexplained infertility. Then this channel is for you. You are going to learn lots of things from our channel. Obango bade oli muchala muli kapo mugeza ko kubanga mufuna olubuto nenga atebi chaganyi. Then ku channel no tukwaniriza tugenda kuba tu answeringa oba tugenda kuba tudamu ebibuzo bino byona byona amanya gange Buza or Musao Gerard Massa. So we have said that can you get pregnant even if you have one fallopian tube? The first key thing we need to take from this uh, video is that the fallopian tubes are those tubes which actually transport a fertilized egg to the womb where it is implanted and where it is implanted or it attaches and then grows into an embryo or it grows into a baby. The fallopian tubes over a second is only child as a Twitter fallopian tubes. Zezo ezitambuza a G, a fertilized, Neribanga litamu, a two everybody to seco, Chisenge Chanabana, Neribanga liso Borokubanga, Liaquatako, or making a show anticula, Nedifuko mana. So, what if we have a scenario whereby the fallopian tube is actually okay? And then all of a sudden you go through maybe a surgery, maybe after having had an ectopic pregnancy, and then your fallopian tube gets worked on, it gets operated, and then probably in the process you lose your fallopian tube and you remain with one fallopian tube. Are you able to get pregnant? Wobango bade wali ofenye ku operation, bali pa kukoze ku operation. Operation ya yoru seke, baji ita salpingectomy. So wobango bali pa kukoze ku operation ya yoru wobango luseke baru jamu. Atengo lina uluseke ulumu uru wa sigaramu. Echibuzo chiri niti wa sovulu kufunu rutu. Ndo wa dengo bado lina uluseke ulumu. So, Without further ado, we've discovered that the fallopian tube is that part or it is that circular, it is that circular length tube which is kind of like a straw which actually transports an egg onto the womb where it attaches and then it implants and then it grows into an embryo or a baby. So if you have one tube, then the most important thing we need to understand is that on the fallopian tube, there is a structure which is known as the ovary. So the ovary is where the egg grows from, where your eggs are going to grow from. And then on the 14th day, the eggs are going to actually be mature and then ready. And then they will actually be released through a process known as ovulation. Oruseke, dulina pati jetuita ovary. Pati yeyo yebeda mu amaji agakula ni gabanga. Gatu uka kuluna kore kuminenya. We gatu uka kuluna kore kuminenya. Tuba tugaita machua graphian fuliko. Eda amajigano yusire bisinga. Oba ejiri nerifose machua oba ilikuze. Tuliita the dominant fuliko. A dominant fuliko has a, it has a diameter of at least 17 to 25 millimeters. But on average, most women have dominant follicles of at least 20 millimeters. So, if you are able to ovulate on the 14th day, if you are able to go through the phases of the menstrual cycle, that is the 
proliferative phase or the estrogenic phase and then if you are able to also ovulate on the 14th day and then even go into the luteal phase when you your hormones are balancing then it is very possible it is very very uh, possible for you that you can get pregnant so in this video today one of our viewers asked the question can you get pregnant with one fallopian tube and the answer is yes you can get pregnant even if you have one fallopian tube but this fallopian tube has to be patent it has to be open and then the ovary should be able to undergo the process of ovulation Tugambia nti osobola kufuna olubuto ne wankubadde obadde olina oluseko olumu na yate oluseko olulina kubanga teruli blocked lulina kubanga luli open atene chirala amajigo gaino kubanga ga undergoing a process je tuita ovulation so you can get pregnant even if you have one fallopian tube but your tube should be open and then the ovaries should be functional and then your husband should be having sperms of good quality and good quantity if you would like to have a private session with me a private consultation with me many of my clients are actually booking i'm sending out my greetings to all you my clients who have been able to do the booking and yes i've we've i've given you lots of uh, we've allocated time for you and we've answered all your questions i'm sending out my greetings to all of you putting in prayers by god's grace that things work out for you and you also do get pregnant and get to give a testimony so you can book to have a consultation with me through my numbers plus 256-701-7978 and 76. That's plus 256-701-7978-76. You can do the booking through that number and then we shall talk on WhatsApp. We can actually even talk on Zoom if you are okay with it. Consultation fee when you are in Uganda it's only 15,000 Uganda shillings and then if you are outside Uganda then it is $10 US dollars. So outside Uganda it is 10 US dollars and then when you are in Uganda it is only 15000 so you can always deposit the money through that same number i've given you which is actually even below this video and then it's registered in my name Gerard Massa the health educator after doing the booking please connect with me on my whatsapp and then we shall have a more one on one consultation where i will give you my best recommendations my best advice on how you can get pregnant faster naturally if you are a couple and you have tried to get pregnant then talk to me on my whatsapp book so that we give you time and then talk to you and answer all your questions wobaddo yagala kubanga oyagala kubanga oyagera mukonange ogezeza ko okubanga ofuna olubuto mulimo percentage ya bachala abaje okufuna olubuto nga tebafunye wa the assistance nga tebafunye na kubantu babogera na abasawu tebogera nafe na yate mulimo percentage ya bachala abaje okubanga abaje kwetago okubanga oyogera mukona abakugu so wobaddo yagala kugera mukonange uh, one on one ku whatsapp yange osobola ku bookinga kuba abalode bana bona bendi okukola ku whatsapp bali kusasula bali ku bookinga wo wali mu Uganda mutwalo gomwe kitundu goka goka okuteka ko airtel number eno yenyine eri wansi wano eri 0701797876 that is 0701797876 eri mu manya gange genyini Gerard Massa oba after ngomazo ku bookinga tujja kuba tusobola kubanga togera nkuwe advice ku ngeri kije osobola kubanga ofuna olubuto amangu and then also we can also talk more after you have done your booking thank you for watching today's video lesson i hope you've learned something i hope you've learned that when you have one fallopian tube you can still get pregnant but the ovary should be functional the fallopian tube should be open and then also your husband should be having sperms of good quality and good quantity see you in my next video tomorrow and have yourself a fantastic and healthy day god bless us all bye bye Agenesis. What is vaginal agenesis? 
In this video today, we are going to answer the question, what is malarian agenesis? What is vaginal and uterine agenesis? <music> Did you know that you could be a woman but when you lack the reproductive system, when you lack the vagina, you do not have the vagina, you do not have the female reproductive system and you are asking yourself what is this condition called? In this video today, we are going to talk about vaginal agenesis, uterine agenesis, malarian duct agenesis and also the Mayer Rokintansky Costa Hosa syndrome. In this video today, we are talking about all this. Welcome to our channel, Gerard Massa, the health educator. And on this channel, we do create awareness about fertility, reproductive health, and ultrasound scanning. So, without further ado, we shall begin by defining what we mean a genesis. Mu video ya fene ya lero, tugenda kogera ku bichi ebilitiwa vaginal agenesis oba uterine agenesis oba malarian duct agenesis oso wolo kubanga oli muchala na yatenga obadde ebitundu byechama bituita vagina nga tobirina mu video eno lero tugenda kogera ku condition yenu chichi echileta emberi no kubanga eberawo so we were saying that agenesis simply means the failure of an organ to form. When an organ is supposed to be forming, let's say during pregnancy, and then maybe that particular organ does not form, then we call that a genesis. We are talking about malarian agenesis. We shall go step by step. Do not uh, worry, we shall define everything and we shall explain everything together. So we've said that a genesis is the failure of an organ form. A genesis chitegezanti, a chintu, a chandiba de chiforminga, de chiforminga. Katugeze, obango bade, or little button, neate, nebanga, walu part, a bade no kubange forminga, neate nebanga te forminze, muluzungu to chita a genesis. Malarian a genesis means that the malarian ducts, the malarian ducts are those early embryo, embryonic structures or they are the parts where the sexual organs are going to be forming. For example, the uterus or the womb of the baby and then the vagina where it begins from. We call it the primordial embryonic, uh, embryonic structures where that part or where the sexual organs are going to begin from uh, forming. It's what we call the malarian ducts. Ideally, if at all, the sexual organs are supposed to be forming and then they do not form, then we call that the malarian agenesis, malarian duct agenesis. So in this video, we are talking about vaginal agenesis, malarian agenesis, and uterine agenesis. To Gambian team, we will be right malarian agenesis. But as one mature, as and but as forming, as but as forming, or kind of crab and go man as a river, that they don't be a charm about it. I be about a bidina, then Chibach the Gazanti and Banga in a chinichuade, Chetuba Twitter, Vagino or Uterine Agenesis. Remember, you can ask me all your questions in regards to fertility, reproductive health, and ultrasound. I will answer all your questions down below this video, and you can also do your booking if you would like to. Talk with me to consult me in privacy, then you can book to talk with me on my WhatsApp numbers. The number is just below this video. So we've said that vaginal agenesis is the failure of the reproductive organs, more specifically the uterus from forming, then this is normally associated to genetical uh, makeups or genetical compositions during pregnancy. If at all a woman who is supposed to carry a particular number of chromosomes does not carry those chromosomes or their chromosomal abnormalities or genetic abnormalities, then there are high chances that you can end up 
with a condition known as vaginal agenesis or uterine agenesis. In simple terms, the uterus or the vagina may fail to form. How can you confirm that you could be or you could have a child who is having vaginal agenesis? In most cases, this condition is also known as the Meyer Rokitansky Kustahosa syndrome, MRKH. Now, this condition does not show. Actually, you may not be able to detect this until when a woman or when a girl is supposed to begin her menses and then she does not see her menses. Then that's when we may begin to suspect that there could be a problem. The other thing is that she could be going through her, menstruous, uh, her menstruation, she could be menstruating, but because the vagina did not form and the uterus formed inside, then blood is going to collect inside the womb. And when blood collects, imagine a situation where a woman is supposed to be menstruating every month, and then because there's no opening for the blood to flow out, it collects inside and the lady or the woman or the girl may begin telling or complaining of a mass which is around the pelvic organ or a swelling around the womb. So, to Gambia, Obanga, Obade, Olimuala, Atengo, Linachi, Nechirua, Deche, Twitter, Meya, Rokintaski, Kusta, Husa Syndrome, Obama, Luzungu, Chetwita, Mullerian, Agenesis, Ojakula, Banti, Wandibanga, Otandi, Kukufuna, Chetwita, Amenuria, Amenuria, Chiba, Chitegeza, Anti, Obado, Inoku, Banga, Olaba, Period, Zo, Nayate, No, Banga, Toso, Wode, Kuzidaba, Amenuria is absence of the menstrual uh, periods, or absence of your periods. So, Saini soka jetusoku lukura bilako, netugamba nti wandibanga olina echivade chetuita vagino o mulerian agenesis, periods o watu zidaba. Omuwala haba agenda monsonga ze, jukila naba na hizo kubanga ya forminga, na ya tengo uh, vitundi vya chama tebina forminga, vituita vagina. So, omusa higu nugu collectinga, negule tira o chitundu chine chana ba na chetuita pelvic region, o kubanga chizimba. So, we've said that the first classic sign of confirming that you could be having the Mullerian agenesis or the Meyer Rokintansky Kustahusa syndrome is that there's going to be amenuria. There's going to be a feeling of fullness or there's going to be a mass around the pelvic region and we have said that this mass is due to collection of menstrual blood which has nowhere to go because remember the vagina did not form. We are talking about malarian agenesis. Remember if you have any questions you can consult me on my WhatsApp. You can also do the booking so that you talk to me about all your fertility questions. I will give you my best recommendations. How can you confirm that a child has malarian agenesis? How can you diagnose malarian agenesis? How can you confirm that a child has the Meyer Rokintansky Kusta Husa syndrome, MRKH? The only way or the best way to confirm malarian agenesis or to confirm that a child could not be having her private parts. They could be actually absence of the womb. It could be that the vagina has not yet formed. You have a child and the child is a girl. She's complaining of a mass. She's complaining of a swelling around her pelvic region and she's also not seeing her periods. Then the best way to do is talk to your doctor, take the child to uh, your doctor and then your doctor will request actually investigations to be done. And the best way to confirm that a child could be having malarian agenesis or any of these abnormalities of the reproductive system is by doing what we call a pelvic ultrasound scan. A pelvic ultrasound scan will give clear images of how the uterus has formed, if it has formed, and then if at all the uterus or the womb is not there, then on ultrasound scanning, nothing will be seen, there will be absence of the womb or where the private parts or the vagina is supposed to be, it may actually show that there's no vagina. So the only way or the best way to confirm that you could be having uh, or a child could be having malarian agenesis is by doing a pelvic ultrasound scanning. 
if the ultrasound scanning does not show but still the clinical picture shows that the child could be having malaria agenesis then the best way actually the most important way compared to ultrasound scanning the first test which will be requested by your doctor is what we call the magnetic resonance imaging or the MRI the magnetic the magnetic resonance imaging or the MRI is much more clear because it will even give a more detailed picture or a more detailed report of what is happening to the malaria ducts or what is happening to the whole uh, reproductive system. So if you do not have the MRI facilities in your country or where you stay, then you may go for the pelvic ultrasound scanning. But if at all the 3D or the three dimensional ultrasound scanning is available, then you could opt for that because it will reconstruct or it will show reconstructed images of the whole womb. To Gambian tea. Osobolotia okumanya nti omana ya ndibanga lina echiba de chetuita malarian agenesis. Tugambi nti the only way oba engeri yoku confirminga e, tupatu gamba nti ovo ino kumutu alewa doctor o nabanga akola scan. Scan eno tupatu jita pelvic ultrasound scanning. Ebe sobolo kulaga na vana yomana erietia. Ebe tundi vya chama kwebiri oba tekuli. Ndeni nechidara the ultrasound scanning will show collection of the menstrual blood. Remember, we said that in vaginal agenesis, normally the uterus is there, but the vagina is not there. So, menstruation will happen, it will take place, because actually, women who have these conditions, they do ovulate very well. They can get pregnant, but with assistance. So, Omana alinachine chirwade echa malarian agenesis oba uterine agenesis ajakubanga alina omosai munji erawe tukola scan tujakuba tusobola kulaba omosai gunonga go collecting zenga munji nyo mu bitundu ebyechama ate just because gwate gulina we gufulumira so remember this malarian agenesis abnormalities or these conditions can be corrected in theater they can be corrected they can be treated you need to see your doctor if you suspect that there could be a problem with your child or there could be a problem happening if you are a woman and you are not seeing your periods you are having irregular periods you've tried to get pregnant but things are not working out you've been told that you have primary infertility you've taken all the drugs but you are not getting pregnant then it is high time you consult me talk to me we could actually uh, interact and then probably you may get the best recommendation by interacting with me so remember if you would like to book your appointment you can book through my website you can also talk to me directly on my whatsapp consultation fee is if you are in uganda it is only 30,000 uganda shillings and then if you are outside uganda then it is 10 us dollars payable to my mobile uh, to, to my mobile money a uh, number it is plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight seven six it is just below here plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight seven six when you book to consult with me you'll be able to get the best recommendations the best advice on how you can get pregnant faster and many of our clients are happy with our services i'm really looking forward to talking with you and thank you for watching today's video we've talked about malarian agenesis uterine agenesis and also vaginal agenesis and we have said that malarian ducts are those parts where the reproductive system forms from if it is supposed to form the vagina is supposed to form the womb is supposed to form but it does not form then we call that malarian agenesis or uterine agenesis or vaginal agenesis it has a collective name of the Meyer Rokintaski Kustahusa syndrome ask me all your questions and i will be able to answer all your questions thank you for watching today's video lesson about fertility reproductive health and ultrasound scanning see you in tomorrow's video and remember to subscribe so that you do not miss new videos we release every day about your health about how you can get pregnant Jared Massa, the health educator is the name of the channel and see you in tomorrow's video Take care. May God bless us all.
bye-bye. For you to get pregnant faster naturally, your ovaries should be functional. If your ovaries are not functional, if you are not ovulating very well, then getting pregnant may become difficult. And then also, your fallopian tubes should be open. If you are trying to get pregnant and your fallopian tubes are blocked, maybe they are blocked with scar tissue and adhesions, then getting pregnant may actually not be so easy. And then lastly, your womb should be free from disease. If your womb or your uterus has issues with fibroids, endometritis, recurrent urine tract infections, then getting pregnant may be difficult. And also, the sperms from your husband, the sperms from your husband should be of good quality and good quantity. If your husband has sperms of poor quality and poor quantity, then getting pregnant may be difficult. Talk to me today about your fertility, about how you can get pregnant faster, naturally. You can book to consult with me. My numbers are plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight and seven six. After booking, the consultation will begin on WhatsApp. Consultation fee is only thirty thousand Uganda shillings. If you are in Uganda and if you are outside Uganda, then consultation is only ten US dollars. Osobolo kupanga omanya bingi nyo ebikwata ku bulamu bo ngiri chi osobolo kupanga ofuna olubuto obango gezeza ko okupanga ofuna olubuto na yate ne bibanga biganye enseke ba kugama ndizazi bikira na bana elimu ebuzibu osobolo kupanga obbookingo kogera mu konange gala okumanya ngiri chi osobolo kupanga ofuna mango olubuto ujogera nange lero ku WhatsApp Bookinga okubango yogera nange njya kuba nkuwa advise entufu ekwatagana ku ngeri kije osobola okubanga ofuna mango olubuto waba ali bakugambye nti ensekezo zazi bikira oba munabana muri mu buzibu oba ogeziza ko kubanga ofuna olubuto naye nga tonafuna advise entufu bookinga oyogere muko nange ku whatsapp a uh, wabuli mu Uganda esente zili mitwalo esatu joka osobola kubukinga ne tubanga tuwaya muko njya kuba nkunyonyola ngedi chi josobola kubanga ofuna mango olubuto ate ne chirala njya kuba nkuwa ne advise ku bichi byo ino kubanga okola okumakinga show anti ofuna mango olubuto obango baddogezeza ako okufuna olubuto ne banga bikutawanyiza bookinga e number yange ya WhatsApp ID +2567017978 76 tujja kuba togera Talk to me today about your fertility, about how you can get pregnant faster, naturally. You can book to consult with me. My numbers are plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight and seven six. After booking, the consultation will begin on WhatsApp. <laughs> tugenda kogera ku bichi ebikuganye okubanga ofuna olubuto lero tugenda kogera ku nsonga chi ezisobola kubanga zikugana okufuna olubuto we are going to talk about what are the causes of a woman or a couple failing to get pregnant so nga tetuna mala budde bunji nyo tugenda kogera ku nsonga zinozo na zona ate jukira obwanga olina ekibuzo cho na chona osobola kubanga ombuza nembanga nkudamo ekibuzo kyona kyona amanya gange nze musawu Gerard Masa era chano ya feno Gerard Masa the health educator togera ku nsonga zino zona zona ezikwatagana ne ngedi kije osobola kubanga ofuna olubuto amangu topic je tugenda kogera ko lero yeno topic je tuita ya fertility oba usobozi chi oba muchala oba kapo usobozi chi bwe musobola kubanga musobola kubanga mufuna mu mangu olubuto Obango geziza ko kubanga ofuna olubuto oli mu chala ne mwamiwo mugeza ko kubanga mufuna olubuto nenga ate bibadde biganye bibadde bibatawanyiza muko then ku chano ya feno tugena kogera ku bino byonna byonna era zino zezimu ku videos etutandise okubanga tukola 
video za fezo nazi genda kuberanga at least mu Luganda tuberenga ate fena fena tusobola kumanya ekigenda maso ku nsonga eza pregnancy nsonga eza fertility so wetu watu likogera ku bichi ebisobola kubanga bilemesa omuchala okufuna olubuto sign oba ekisokera ko dala the first cause ekisokebwako okubanga kisobola kuvira ko omuchala oba abagala no kubanga balemeddo okufuna olubuto kye kino kye tuita an ovulation an ovulation ya embera yo kubanti kwe gamba osobola kubanga oli muchala ogenda bulonje mu period zo na yatenga majigo tegava yo kusisinkana maziga musajja so amajago may be gako na bukonyi no banga te tegasobola kubanga gakola chi gasisinkana amazigo musajja oba tegasobola kubanga gavamu ag edene eriri libaita dominant fuliko erisobola kubanga libera fertilized so anovulation ye songa esoka ate sign eyo kubiri oba the, first, the second cause e, songa endala eyo kubiri esobola kubanga elemesa omuchala oba elemesa abagala nokufuna olubuto ye ne songa eyo kubanga okubanga mulina infections infections zino nezibanga teza kosa system yo eyo buchala oba system eyo musajja olaba anti omusajja abasobola kubanga afulumye enkwaso na ate nezibanga enkwaso ezo zili nafu nyo atenga tesobola kubanga zikola mulimo ogwazo ate ne kirala infections zino zisobola kunafu ya amaji agomo chala chano ya fe no togera kuzina ensonga era obango limo pia nyiga epesa o subscribing oberenga bali kanako ofuna videos zetukola buli runako biki byosobola kumanya anti wandibanga olino obuzibu katugeze osobola tyo kumanya anti olina ekizibu kye tuita anovulation syndrome oba osobola tyo kumanya anti maybe omusajja andibanga alina obuzibu test esoka jo lino kubanga okola yeno je tuita the semen analysis test for the quality and the quantity of the sperm so Omusajja wabanga ageziza ko kubanga afuna olubuto i mean sorry omusajja wabageziza ko kubanga afuna so mchala we olubuto na yate nabanga tebisobode kubanga bi happeninga omuchala alemedwa okubanga afuna olubuto then chinzo kubanga maybe omusajja alina enkwaso enafu ngazeta go kubustinga nechi lalo omuchala inzo kubanga naye ina amaji amanafu kudwa lyo lyange ku clinic yange tugera ku bino byona byona sufusobola kubanga ofuna obudde ne tubanga tutula wansi ne togera ebisinga ko wano nkubira ku zine namba eziri wansi wa video eno tujja kuba togera nobo ine chibuzo commentinga or subscribing njja kula mu video ya fe eyencha tugenda ko yongera ne omusoma gwa fe ogwa ngeri chijo sobola kubanga ofuna mango lubuto Gerard Master the health educator jerinya ya chano ya fe era kweno chano otogera olulimi oluganda nga atetu kuyigiriza ngeri chijo sobola kubanga ofuna mango lubuto obango badogezeza ko okufuna lubuto nenga bichya kutawanyamu eno ye chano jolino kubanga oberako bye bye nkolabe kankolabe mu video ya fe eyencha bye bye